here we are at the Huntington Library Museum and Gardens, and this is the Chinese Garden. The Chinese Garden has recently been expanded. This is part of the older uh, garden, but it has this beautiful uh, structure here with the, this lovely patio, symmetrically placed, and then another beautiful building here. But we're here with Miss Abby Peekaboo. And here we are on the terrace that invites the mountains. So gorgeous. And in front of us are these extraordinary water lilies. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a close-up here. They're just about ready to bloom, but a few of them have already bloomed. There's one over there. It's really so serene here. We'll walk around this water feature and give you a feel. This is part of the new Chinese garden. It's called the Jeweled Blossom Slope. And I'm just exploring it now. It looks like it's a pathway that curves around up the slope to a lovely pagoda-like building. Let's see what's up there. Here's a beautiful waterfall called the Reflection of Waves. Much of the Chinese garden is adorned with very artistic uh, rocks, artistic and artistically placed rocks. Plus, can you see that tiny little hummingbird? There he is, right there in the middle, the green. Oh, I love that. Here's one of the new buildings on this slope. Let's see. It's pretty, it's pretty extraordinary. It has a lovely patio, the long sort of esplanade. Let's see. Ah, it's a little warm. It's nice to be under the shade. Let's peek through this window. Again, everything so artistic. Look at those trees against the white wall. Bonsai trees. Look at this aperture, this beautiful round aperture with that gorgeous rock structure in the background. And then over here, also an interesting structure. Let's take a look. A lot of the plantings here are very new. This garden has only uh, been open a few months. And so these little tiny plants here are called Wee Willy Korean Boxwood. <laughs> I wonder what they'll be. And here's something so beautiful. You can see it has little pods on it. Some salvia. The bees are loving it. Oh, what a lovely structure. It's really, it's a structure, but it's completely open. So there's no, really no roof here. It's a wall that invites you to look at different vistas. Or perhaps what it's asking you to do, let's try this. It's asking you to look through the other way at this vista. Yes, that's correct. Because this way you can see all the bonsai trees inside. So the centerpiece of this patio is this, again, gorgeous rock structure. And then the perimeter is filled with these lovely bonsai. 
And then, this is so interesting. Look at the doors on these other wall structures. Very unusual. Here's some uh, sort of reliefs that are quite beautiful. And I just want to show you the door on this other wall structure. Look, <laughs> that feels quite modern, doesn't it? And of course there's a gardener there. He's our hero. There's another beautiful shady place on the hill. This is part of the old Chinese garden, but it is such an unusual structure. It is, it looks like a boat that is on the shore of the water feature here. It's not a boat, but it looks like one. Let's take a look through it. Look at all this beautiful carved wood. That's a gorgeous picture. This is Lingering Cloud Peak, and I know from previous experience it's very hard to video because it's so loud. Let's try. You can walk behind the waterfall. This is the Court of Assembled Worthies. Oh, it's just, you feel so serene even being here. Again, look at these windows. And this, of course, leads us to a whole new place where we haven't been, outdoor slope. Ah, uh, look at this window, amazing. Of course, you're meant to look at this beautiful rock. Look at this extraordinary oak. Oh my goodness, with that beautiful branch. <gasps> Part of the intent of a Chinese garden is to open the mind, to provide poetry for the mind and serenity. So this building is going to be a studio for lodging the mind. Don't you love that? Oh, I want to visit. I had to take a picture of this. Isn't this a beautiful vista? Little island trees, the waterfall in the background. I'm on a bridge. Oh, take a deep breath. 